Hello and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. Keeping you in the fast track with daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. I'm Mikey G and it's Saturday, July 9th. A Twitter user going by Autopilot flew over Gigafactory Nevada and spotted an impressive number of Tesla Mega Packs outside the factory. The Tesla Mega Pack is the biggest stationary energy storage product they've got and it can hold up to 3 megawatt hours of energy capacity in a single container size package. The video shows more than 500 mega packs, which would represent up to 1.5 gigawatt hours of capacity. That's more than Tesla has ever delivered in an entire quarter, all sitting in one place. It's an impressive capacity, but it's not clear why all those batteries are out there. It's true that Tesla produces the system there, but the sheer amount causes a little bit of speculation. It could be that Tesla is preparing to ship them out to one or more energy storage projects, or they might be waiting for parts. With chip shortages and supplies still constrained, that is a probable cause already. If these systems are sold to customers, it represents a big payday for Tesla. Tesla might be expanding its deployment of Starlink satellite internet systems at supercharger stations. Last year, the first Starlink satellite dish was spotted being deployed at a supercharger station in Lake City, Florida. But now, the Tesla Owners Club of Kentucky spotted a new dish in Lexington. Tesla has been building in-car apps for entertainment, and owners with Premium Connectivity Package, a $10 monthly subscription for data-heavy apps, can use those features through Tesla's LTE cellular connectivity. However, having Wi-Fi at a charging station is a great help too. At this point, it's not clear if Tesla is going to use the technology to offer Wi-Fi to owners who are charging, or if it's simply there for back-end support for Tesla's own use. Starlink itself is growing fast by more than doubling its subscriber base this year to over 400,000 subscribers as of this May. A relatively new EV automaker called Electric Brands has unveiled a camper version of its X-Bus electric van. Electric Brands is a German EV startup that began in late 2018 with the initial design of its X-Bus concept. As a startup looks to deliver its initial orders next year, it has introduced a new camper variant that could prove even more popular. The modular design features a pop-up roof, an extended rear hatch, large swinging rear doors, and an array of solar panels. The camper provides sleeping for two, a space-saving kitchen with a sink, fridge, and hot plate, plus a TV and freshwater tank. Reservations have begun, and the starting price for the camper version is listed at the equivalent of $38,320. Will this young company deliver the van life electrified? Time will tell. A team in China has produced an electric vehicle that can run entirely on solar power. The Tianjin Solar Vehicle recently made its debut at the 6th World Intelligence Conference and has started a new tour around mainland China. The solar module area in the vehicle is 8.1 square meters, has a tested range of 47 miles. Max speed is a usable 49 miles per hour and carries a small battery for storage. While the vehicle isn't much of a head turner in terms of specifications, this proof of concept is exciting nonetheless. In today's community comment found on YouTube, Davil says, quote, not looking forward for generic hybrid cars using Tesla charging system just to tax their spaces and leave their cars parked there. Love Tesla's new van. Great news, Mikey. Yeah, that wouldn't be too much fun, seeing a charging spot taken up by a hybrid car. But there is some good news. I have seen that some networks have implemented an idling fee. After the car is finished charging, which for hybrids wouldn't be terribly long, then the user will incur a fee for letting the car sit in the stall. But the bad news is that same idling fee because I don't want to have to pay that. I can imagine getting a notification on my phone when I'm in the restaurant or at the back of a megastore and then suddenly having to hightail it out of there to avoid paying anything. Ah, what can you do, huh? Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.